And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host, Jonathan, and of course, BB-8. What, bringing you my thoughts and review for the brand new Chaz uh, McBoseman, Viola Davis film, Miss Raimi's Black Bottom. Now, this movie came out on Netflix. If you want to go check it out, go check it out. And no, this is not his last movie, so don't, you know, uh, obviously we lost Chaz McBoseman this past year. And uh, we do get to see him in one more movie in Black Panther. How are they going to bring him back? That's something different. Anyway, but let's talk about this film because this movie, to me, is very awesome in so many different ways. Okay, so you have um, Chadwick Boseman. He plays this guy who basically, you know, he's very spirituous, very, you know, happy-going kind of person. And, you know, this is an era of, like, when, you know, black people weren't exactly liked. And, you know, he plays music. He plays jazz. That's what his thing is. He just loves doing it. He has, you know, he has ideas. He He's in a band, you know. He's having fun. But he's not just in a, in a band. He's in this woman's band who's pretty much in charge. And that's Miss Raimi. Miss Raimi is played by Viola Davis. And, by the way... Viola Davis, if you've never seen any of her movies, she's a gem. I love her movies. She's great. I feel like she could do anything at this point. It's just like, she's just awesome. So you have Miss Raimi. She's this big, powerful voice of a woman who's just, like, she can sing. And then, so, you know, she comes in and they're pretty much getting ready to record a an album with these two white men who run like a, I guess like a record company in a way and they're getting ready to record a song so the band shows up they're getting ready they're waiting for Miss Ma Raimi to come in to do her thing and she kind of runs late she's running late and you know the producers of the, of the of the record place are like you know getting kind of anxious they're like okay where is she where is she and the, the band is like relax relax she's coming and then when she comes she finally comes and you see this woman just show up. You're like, uh oh, they're gonna tear one into her because you know they're white and she's black, and no, <laughs> you know, I'll tell you, this is like the greatest turnover I have ever seen in any kind of movie. She comes in, she's acting all like I want, I want to, I don't want to say bossy, but she's acting like she's like a white person who's like the most important piece of like like music. But she's not. She's, you know, she's a black woman. And, you know, no one in that time, you're like, okay, the white man, you know, they're giving her a break and, they, you know, they're going to mistreat her or whatever. No, she puts them down. She don't take crap from nobody. And, and that's what I loved about that. This this character was so... First of all, I don't even know if this was based on a true story. And if it is, perfect. Because Viola Davis captures this this, this woman's uh, I guess her her characteristics to a T. There, are, this is one scene where she's she just like, okay, they're like you know you have the white men are like okay we want we want to start you know recording the music, and that's basically the movie. The whole movie is about these this band recording a song and you know you know they're not gonna go perform for anybody. They're just recording a record deal, and you just see the characters of all these characters come together. So you have Viola Davis's character. She's Miss Raimi, she, she's the lead singer. She's the star. She comes into these white men's recording studio to record a song on a, or an album with the band. Chadwick Boseman, you know, he, he's part of the band. He's a trumpet. Uh, he plays a trumpet. And um, he has big ideas. He wants to look great. He wants to dress properly. He's got himself some new shoes. And he has like big ideas. He he feels like okay, I don't want to be in this band for too long, cause I have my own dreams. I wanna I wanna open my I wanna have my own band where we play the music that people want to listen to today. The music that Smith Raimi plays, it's it's getting played out, and that's what throughout the whole movie you hear him talk about all these dreams that he has, and of course you have the rest of the band just tear him apart. And honestly, it was actually really, really funny watching these other guys just be like... And every every actor in this movie and actress were gems. I'm, I kind of wish they were all get nominated. But obviously, Viola Davis and, of course, uh, Chadwick Boseman, they they both got nominated this year. So, congratulations to the both of them. 
obviously, and for the Oscars. You know, he did win for um, the Golden Globe. His wife accepted this, the, um, the trophy on his behalf. And this movie is, like, like awesome, okay? You know, because, you know, normally in this period of time, you know, you see, you know, how African Americans were treated back then. But no, Miss Raimi, she's a force of of nature. She she goes in there. She takes charge. She's like, yeah. She's like, yeah, I'm a black woman, but I ain't taking crap from you white men, okay? You want you want my music? You want my music to be here? We do it my way. And that's what you get in this movie. And it's like, okay, well, you haven't. It's like having two different stories in, in one movie. You have her story, which is like, she's like in charge. She wants to be, you know, do everything her way. And then you have the band. And then you have Chadwick Boseman. He wants to do his own thing, but he has visions of what he wants to do. The band don't want to listen to him. Viola Davis's character don't want to listen to him. And it's just a beautiful collaboration. Um, but yeah, in the ending to this movie... Um, came out of nowhere. I, I don't want to spoil it, but wow, go check this movie out. This movie is amazing, especially if you like that, you know, the jazz kind of music and stuff. I'll tell you, this movie was great. I, I enjoyed every moment of this movie. It's on Netflix. So if you if you live in the United States, you can watch it on Netflix. But it's it's a really well done little film, and I I enjoyed every moment of it. Um, what else? Listen, if Iola Davis gets nominated, if she wins this for the Oscar, uh, good job on her because honestly, she was just amazing in this movie. And she transformed herself too. She, When you first watch it, you don't even recognize Viola Davis. You're like, oh, okay, you know, a, a beautiful kind of, you know, heavier uh, African-American actress in this movie. And if you don't know who Viola Davis is, you're really going to be like, oh, okay, I don't know who this is. But if you do know who she is, you're not going to recognize her at all. There are moments in this movie when, you know, the camera pans back a little bit. You really don't, you notice the actress. You, you notice the person she's supposedly playing instead of Viola. So it's like very mesmerizing and awesome. And I, I enjoyed it everything. And Chadwick Boseman, like I said, he's, he was, it was, he's, he's been, he was taken from us way too early. He's, he was just great in this movie. Like, he plays this character that's just, like, he he knows what he wants, and he's not afraid to go for it, you know? Not, he's not afraid to talk down, talk above the white man or anybody like that. He just does his thing. Yeah, he, he takes his steps back when he has to, but, you know, when you see him in this movie, you know, talking about his goals, talking about his vision, talking about how he loves writing music and how he wants to change the music of jazz into a whole nother level where it is at that point so it's like wow you understand where he's coming from when you want that especially you know any musician is probably like the same way you know where you know they see that everybody has a certain type of rhythm for music i mean you you're new to the you know the game and you want to change what music is that's what he wanted that's what he wanted he was a part of a band that was so used to doing a certain song and certain rhythms of, of a certain you know type of jazz and he wanted to change that he wanted to be like no i want to buy my own music i want my own music to be to be the what the kids today will dance to and all that you know for back in the day for what it was and you see the band kind of tear down on him a little bit when he you see this and it's it's wow it was just amazing and, and how you see chasmic change what he you know from what, how he was getting kind of being pushed over to being the aggressor in this movie. I, I thought that worked really well. And it was just phenomenal. I, I enjoyed every moment of it. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this movie. If you saw it. And stay tuned for more. Thank you very much. And have a good day.